Hey Capper here, November 3rd, 2017 in the morning, and I'm going to give you a lake update. We got hammered with rain last night, but first I'm going to show you a clip of the new piping system up at the top and at the bottom, so that when you see this video in the middle of the night with a spotlight, it'll make more sense to you. And as usual, all we had to do was plant some grass seed, and we got another gully washer. But the uh, erosion is eliminated probably 95% worth, so it's looking really good. So let's check it out. Okay, here's the final product up on top. We went out and got a couple more grass mats. And as long as we don't get any gully washers and we get warm enough temperature to germinate here, we'll be looking pretty good. Retaining pool down here that we kind of form by hand. Up here you got the main ditch feeding in and then right here in this little uh, hollow there that's where two gutter pipes from the house come out at and this here is the dam and there is the pipe right there so um, my theory on building it is if this if it's just too much where that pipe can't handle it's going to overflow and it should go right over the dam right there and then down into the woods where it used to go anyways. Okay, and here is the bottom end tentatively done. Uh, the first heavy rain might prove otherwise, but until then, I just have to tack down that 45. It's designed, it's, the water's going to splash out. It's kind of a low spot of rock there. And that's about 12 to 18 inches of rock down to that hole I dug. And then the hole kind of lifts up here like a ramp and goes back over. It's about midnight, November 3rd. And I got cracked up by lightning right on top of us. All right, I'm outside. I just had to come look at this. Got a nice trickle of water into the rocks. There's our gutter water coming out a little. And look at that, down into the sewer pipe. Darn near clear enough to drink. Ah, uh, not quite yet, but. Wow, so the, uh, the new layout is working very nicely. Looks like we'll get a little bit of silt here, but as usual, this didn't have time to grow before we had a little mini gully washer. Let's check out the other end. There's the driveway. Just the usual trickle coming down. Not sure how close I'm going to get down there. Oh gosh, yeah. Well, first we have the normal water right here, but then look at that. Man alive, is she running perfect. And it's slick out here. This, of course, this is the old ditch. Normal erosion. There we go, there you have it. What dedication. One o'clock in the morning and I'm out here. Had to see it. Wow. And it's hitting a riprap, perfect. At least as far as I could see from this angle. Wow. 
Wow, that is just perfect. If we didn't get it right away, it would have been even cleaner yet if that grass would have grew up top. So I'll check back in the morning on the depth meter out there and see if we put on a few inches or not. Beautiful. Curious to see if it'll gouge a hole down in there in the riprap or if it'll hold just perfect. Good deal. All right, so here is the lake. Update November 3rd in the morning. We definitely put on at least a few inches. Let me try and get this little steady for you. There's the marker. And I started exactly at the bottom of that black marker, which there's each six inches. So it looks like we put on at least two inches, possibly three inches last night. Um, those two twigs sticking out right there just don't want to give up. But they're getting closer and closer to being down. And the overall shape is changing, which is kind of neat. In that back corner, there's a new rock there now. See that rock? That's the rock that's holding the pipe down. That's going to be the next thing that I'm going to look for to disappear. But you can see down here, that little inlet is starting to fill up a little more than it was couple days ago so it won't be long and that inlet will be full and I haven't walked down to see how the riprap did down here it's just too muddy of a mess but I know I slowed down the erosion by about 90 percent you know we still get a little erosion just normal like right here on the edge but this is all fresh dirt I just graded this rough graded it just to get it down so all of the erosion that used to come with that ditch that was a dirt ditch is now done so another two to three inches on the pond soon I'm gonna cut that dam open and bring in about another foot from that side so stay tuned for that and then not actually very soon I'll be filling up one of the duck ponds in the back also